Hi, this is Piero, Technical Director of SetPoint, and welcome to the new protector firmware 26.5. I will show you now some of the main features of this new release. The first one is the management of the DMZ subnets. This new function is available on protector units with at least three network cards. On these units, the third card is dedicated to DMZ and is automatically configured for this purpose. To change or view the default configuration, you can go to Network Setup, DMZ Network, and here is the new setup page. Here you can see and change the IP address and the subnet mask, and here you can see the DMZ network in CIDR notation. Here the protector says that a static routing to the DMZ network through this gateway, which is the IP address of the third network card, has been automatically created. Moreover, you can see on the right side of the page that a new indicator shows this new network card. This indicator and this setup page are only shown when the DMZ network card is available. This static routing is system defined and cannot be deleted, so if we go to the static routing page, we cannot see and we cannot delete the DMZ static routing. Another feature you will find in this new version of the protector is the possibility to block HTTPS traffic. You will find this new feature in the web filter setup page. And here it is possible to configure the new block through this parameter, which is available for each filter. So for each filter you can define a specific blacklist, which is usually available for the HTTP web filter and if you enable this checkbox the domain in the blacklist are also blocked for HTTPS traffic so when this option is enabled both HTTP and HTTPS traffic for websites in the blacklist of the current filter will be blocked when not enabled, the domains in the blacklist will be blocked only for HTTP traffic. An important thing to remember is that no content filtering is available for HTTPS traffic, so the categories and the tolerance don't affect HTTPS block. Moreover, when you try to access an HTTPS blocked website, you will not see the standard block page. So, for example, if we enable the web filter and we try to access the SecPoint VIP launch, which is currently in the blacklist, we will not see the standard HTTP block page, but we will have a timeout from the web browser. Another feature we added is about quarantined messages. With this new feature, it is possible to instruct the protector not to scan again emails when they are released from quarantine. This feature is in the anti-spam setup page in the quarantine section. By default, the protector scan every mail that passes through it, so it also scans emails when they are released from quarantine. If you don't want to scan again these mails, you just uncheck this checkbox and the protector will not scan again such mails. If we want to test this feature, we can, for example, enable, then we go to the quarantine and we try to release one of the messages in the quarantine so if we go to release this message here we are and we will see that the message has been caught again by the protector's mail filter then if we instruct the protector not to scan again mails released from quarantine we try to release the message again and if we go back to the list, we will find the message released but not caught again by the filter. 
Next feature I want to show you is in the function that allows to load website certificates, which now doesn't allow to upload password protected key files. This is because password protected key files could cause problems to the web server. So whenever you try to upload such key files, the protector will deny this. Next feature is in the firmware update. You can see here I have a firmware update interrupted. Now if we click here, we can see that we have the firmware log from the last firmware update and if we click here we can choose between start a new firmware update or resume last firmware update. Resume will always start a firmware update from the last save checkpoint and above all will not download the software package if it has been already downloaded. This is automatic and the protector will perform every check by itself. Moreover, the user interface has been improved and now we have two progress bars, the first one indicating the overall process and the second one indicating the current process. On the bottom of the page we have the list of the features of the new release. For more information about this release of the protector, you can contact that point or download the release note document from our website. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.